Welcome back. The U.S. Agency for International Developments, one of the only agencies with an A rating on the latest Federal IT Acquisition Reform Act scorecard. The General Services Administration also got a top grade. Jay Mahannon is Chief Information Officer at USAID. Jay, congratulations to you and your team. We talked a little bit before we went on the air about the fact that you're proud that you've been pretty consistent in FATARA scorecards uh, over time. What do you think the strategy is that has allowed you to get to a high level and stay at a high level, Jay? I think there are two things for me. Um, definitely my team. Uh, we have, I have a very, uh, you know, very uh, techni technically qualified team. They're, um, you know, they're very good at what they do. And secondly, it basically is our, uh, you know, senior leadership support. I think that was one of the areas that I think um, has been, you know, consistent throughout uh, my tenure here. Uh, the, the support that I have from senior leaders has been great. And, um, you know, having the right people in the right positions here, because uh, you can lay the processes out, but it really takes the, it takes the effort of the team to get, the, to get where we are and to have a score and being consistent as we are. When the scorecard first came out, you had a B, it got bumped up to an A. What was the change there? What happened? So we, we monitored the scorecard, every one of the metrics. And so when the scorecard came out, I looked at it and said we had a B. And so I went through each one of the, the metrics and I saw that the, um, the cybersecurity score was, was incorrect. Because um, we, we calculated, I think we had a B. And so when we looked at the score, they, um, the committee, they, they had, I think, a 2.2 in our rating in terms of the maturity level. And so um, we looked at it because we know we had a 3.4 at the, at the beginning of the year. So, um, you know, we contacted the committee and let them know that uh, we thought the score was incorrect. Uh, I think they were also looking at it at the same time and agree with us. So they were pretty quick in terms of how quick they turn around and made the corrections to the scorecard. What do you see as far as the manifestation of how the grades on the scorecard actually demonstrate the progress or, or the success that you're having at your individual agency? You know, I mean, the one thing for us is that we, we've we always, you know, take a look at what best practices are. And, and I think for us is that looking through and looking at the scorecard, I think, you know, it is definitely driving uh, a lot of the, the agencies to, to do well in these different areas. I think for us is um, we've, again, we started this journey a, a, a while back, you know, in 2011, when we went to, um, you know, we went through the cl the cloud floor, the cloud first initiative, um, and so we've been driving ourselves, and to be at this point, it's great, and so I think, you know, the scorecard is also to drive other agencies to do the same as well. It strikes me that the import of what you've achieved is that you're not doing what you're doing to get a good grade; you're doing what you're doing to drive the mission of USAID and getting a good grades incidental. Am I reading that right? Exactly. I mean, this is something that we started a while back. And, and you know, if you actually look at the scorecard when it first came out, we had, um, we had to think three Ds or a C, two Ds and a C. And one of the things we looked at is that this is where we started working with GAO um, to, to, you know, to kind of correct some of the reporting um, uh, errors that we had. And as soon as we did that, we went from, you know, I think it was a D to an A. And so, uh, for us, you know, we've always done the right things. It's just making sure people understand, and for us also to report the kind of the kind of the correct uh, activities that we're working on. What is what are the next steps? What do you do? Not just to, as I said before, not just to maintain a good grade, but to continue to drive success in the IT infrastructure that the agency needs to deliver on its mission. You know, I, we've done fairly well, and I think we're not in a modernization mode anymore. I think it's more uh, we're looking at innovations and what we can actually do for the agency. Um, one of the highest priority for us is really um, looking at the data. Uh, with USAID, there's quite a bit um, that we have, and so how do we refine the data to make better decisions? Uh, and so this is something that we are definitely working on. Uh, and then again, use the data for you know other technologies such as um, you know RPA, uh, artificial intelligence, to kind of. Uh, you know, drive some of the decision making for for you know our our um, staff. What do you think was the turning point for you to get from the modernization phase to the innovation phase? Because that's a corner that a lot of agencies haven't turned yet. You know, I think when I, when I look back, and again, I think the scorecard is a very good reflection of where we are, right? Because um, I think we, if you look at the scorecard again, it's pretty consistent all the way across, and we've we've achieved most of the things. Our processes are pretty mature in a way that we're. Um, moving away from looking at what things that we need to remove out of the environment. And so um, process-wise, we, we look at it, we see if there's something that we need to do, and, and we do it. I think it's, it, you know, it, for us it's that simple. Again, when you have a great team and a great support, I think it all works itself out. 
what would you like to see, if anything, as far as the way that you're graded or agencies in general are graded moving forward? There's always talk about how to evolve the scorecard. Does that matter to you or are you going to uh, are you going to worry about that or just deal with the way it comes? Uh, we've always deal with the way it comes. And I think it's always great when the score changes. Um, it, it's also a reflection of how we adapt as well. Uh, it's good that the um, the committee has at least given you a preview of what the next metric is going to be. Um, but for us is that we look at all aspects of IT and see how we can do and what is important, what is not. And I think the scorecard does tie into some of those things as well. So I think I said, as it comes, you know, we're ready for it. Jay Mahan, and thanks very much. It's great to have you on the program. Thank you.